Oh, who cares about Adam? Oh. That was mean. You know what? It's about Riley. How, How are you? Good to see you. To see you I am so incredibly excited to be still at yeah. Hatchet Movies. Yeah. That's all I want to cover. Keep making them. Just, they just keep coming out. It's like they're addicting. We it's, have to make more. When are you doing Hatchet the series? I bet he thought about it. Uh, or did I just tell something I should? Interesting. You can come over, Adam. Don't be afraid. Oh, we're talking about. All right, then let's talk about him. All right, Adam Green is who? Uh, he's he's the writer and director of most of the Hatcher movies, except but not this one. Not this one. No, he handed over the reins, but he still did an amazing job on this movie. Well, we've heard very good things about it, except the mosquitoes. I've heard that's a very large part of production. Yeah, the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes the sucked. Those were awful. Mm -hmm. Why did not? Now, people, I heard people have, their faces went like paralyzed or in the hospital. They got chiggers. They were deep poisoning, the whole thing. Why was that not the movie or in the, why didn't you use that like people screaming and clouds of mosquitoes? Uh, it just really wouldn't have been that scary, I don't think. You know, when you have like a, I mean, a hatchet wielding maniac portrayed by Kane Hodder and then all of a sudden you're supposed to be scared because of the mosquitoes, like, it's just not gonna not gonna happen. But what if Victor Crowley was so affected by mosquitoes and that's how he gets defeated? Well, that actually did happen. Kane <laughs> spent the final night in the emergency room because he had too many mosquito bites. Yeah, yeah. he stopped. Are you he, he literally couldn't breathe. He had, from mosquito bites. And only yeah. on his arms. He had over 125 just on his arms. I had 48 sugar bites from here down at one point. Yeah. Did it ever occur to you? I don't know. Cover set. That's why when I directed it, we didn't have that problem. Um, no, you're like, yeah, we're gonna do this all outside because I'm producing. And then you went into the trailer and had it was daiquiris. All, you know, everyone will be like, we wanted to scope, man. It was the tax incentive in Louisiana. That's the honest truth. Don't listen to them. No one will shoot there. We wanted, uh, well, yeah, no. And there's a reason why. Um, but it was great though. And I mean, now when you watch the movie and you can see the real swamp and everything, it's really, it's, it's awesome. And it was, it was worth it. You know, so what if we lost? Hundred pints of blood to it's various bugs, and so Kane was Kane in pain too. He just walked by. He's no, that's not Kane. Kane. Oh, I don't even know who that was. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's uh, fine. It's fine. Tell us why this Hatchet Three. I would say is the best yet, but then that would be really cold to your other hatchets. No, it's what's it's different it's about? This? Uh, uh, let's see. What? Well, let's see. What's different about it is this one is very action heavy because it was meant to be the climax when I designed all of this. Meant to be, but not necessarily. Well, this story finishes with this movie. That does not mean that years from now there could not be another Victor Crowley movie or something, but this story that I set out, I mean, the movies always start and stop on the same frame and it all works together like that. And what was really awesome about this was that, you know, I promoted from within and promoted BJ McDonald as my camera operator, who's a great camera operator. You interviewed him. Yeah, and um, awesome at camera. And, I basically, like, he's been part of the whole thing. So he didn't mind that I was still so heavily involved. Whereas if I brought in another, like, established director, director, then we could have been butting heads. But, like, I wrote it, I cast it, yeah. I had final cut, I was in editing, I was on set, and we worked together like that. So it was fine. So it, it just really worked out well. And I feel like he brought a really cool action style to it because he's a camera operator first and foremost, whereas I could really still make sure that the story, the characters, the you know, the movie was still what I wanted. So Victor Crowley going to therapy, or that won't happen. We won't see another movie where maybe Danielle, Danielle Harris and Victor, there could be a romance. I mean, look, there's a lot of sexual tension. He's always chasing her. There is a lot of sexual tension, but when you see how this one ends, you'll see that that's yeah. probably not in the cards. Raleigh, are you in the film? Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of the leads. Tell us about the audition process. Uh, well, it was really difficult. They had me come in like five or six times. That would be awesome. And you go, nah, you should just really put her through the... He just, he just, yeah, you know, he... always does get put through the ringer. I do, always. Um, it's harder to really he be... He trusts yeah. me. He trusts me. Well, you're awesome. He knows I can do it, so... Yeah. Are you going to do... When's, uh, you know, more Frozen coming out? Or even <laughs> for like... Know. You know, you, you joke, but a week ago that call came in about, you know, we'd really love a sequel to Frozen. And I'm like, how? Hey. Um... Everybody, it's like the thing. People come back out of the ice, and they're alive. I think what, honestly, I think what's going to end up happening is like finding a, a different contained thriller that is centered around snow and then calling it Frozen 2. Like, you know how they did it with Open Water 2? It wasn't really Open Water 2. They just called that movie Adrift Open Water 2. So I don't, I don't know. But There's I, always the prequel. 
or a prequel. Yeah. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah. It ends with them getting on the chairlift. She gets her puppy. It's just the most boring movie ever. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That would be awesome. Like a Disney film. <laughs> Listen, we are so excited. Now, we've covered all of it. We have to, we're so excited to see this. Yeah. I want to get a shot.